What is going on, Made This Family? Neil and Jenny back for another Kaizen update for this month. This one's going to be juicy because we just came back from Made This Live last month. A lot of cool stuff that came out of it. And so I'm going to update everyone on how things are going. Yeah. First things first, right? We always like to welcome new franchisees, which is like every month. How cool is that? Like, Yeah. yeah. The family's growing, which is awesome. So yeah. welcome to Anita and Shashil. Uh, I want to give a quick shout out to Anita. She just signed up and immediately bought a ticket to come out to Made This Live with a bunch of strangers she's never met before. Uh, yeah. takes, takes guts to do that. So Anita, huge shout out to you and welcome to the family. For you guys, you guys are in Spring, Texas. We have another new franchisee, currently I think in week two of training. Barov, welcome to the family, man. He's going to be crushing it from Boston. So very excited to have all of you guys as part of the Made This group. That's right. And then let's also talk about, we've got a one year anniversary. So our guys in Durham, we got Willem and Danny who've been crushing it for a year. Can you guys believe they launched back June 1st? Uh, it's pretty wild. Yeah. yeah. All right. So like Neil said, made this live. I can't believe it was a month ago. I feel like we've been talking about this and teasing it for so long. Yep. And it was fantastic. It was awesome takeaways on our end. We've heard, you know, really great positive feedback from the Z's who were there. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, it, I mean, Jenny, I don't know how you felt, but like, I love having a remote company and that's great. And that's the reason we all signed up, but getting together in person, there's just so much more energy and like I'm yes. meeting people outside of just Slack and Zoom. For me, it was the coolest thing. Like this is honestly one of the coolest events I've ever been a part of and put on. Yeah. And it was like a huge milestone for me. We did so much cool stuff. I mean, yeah. like, I, I don't even know where to start, but I'll, I'll go over some of my highlights. Jenny, I'm curious yeah. to hear from yours. The stuff I loved, I mean, I think the masterminds were really cool where we had all the franchisees split up in different tables and talk about the issues they're facing and share notes. I think one key takeaway here from that is, oh, I'm not alone in this, right? I think yeah. that's the coolest part about being in a franchise system is knowing that you're not alone. Other people have the exact same problems, not even just business problems, but same things with what's going on with their maid service business, which I think was cool. Uh, bowling was fun. Like, yeah, yeah <laughs> that, that was great. really fun yeah. just getting everyone together, drinking yeah. beers, playing bowling. So that that was really cool. So those are the two things that pop in my head immediately. How about you, Jenny? Yeah. So part of it too is just like sharing meals together, right? Like grabbing mm -hmm. a drink, sharing lunch, uh, just connecting face to face and getting that time. I think there was something too um, to like that last session that you led, like the intentionality. I got the option to to see the actual goals franchisees set and the three things right. they ways from the event. Really powerful stuff, things that I've already seen franchisees implementing. And in turn, and some of the things we'll talk about on this are the things that the franchisor took away that we want to introduce and bring to the community. So yeah, yeah it was awesome Look, energy, really great. Yeah. Last thing with that is like, I, I feel like whenever I've gone to a conference and I definitely felt it this time is if you get one tiny takeaway from a conversation, from more motivation, from whatever, it's worth it. Yeah, completely worth it. And I feel like, at least for me, and I think from what I saw over here, that was in space. If you had yeah. one tiny takeaway, which changes the trajectory, makes you move faster, the whole conference is worth it. It made me want to do way more of these. So yeah, for sure. yeah it was awesome. Um, one of the things too that we introduced, and I think um, all the franchisees really liked it were some of the swag and tying that into the culture of who we are has made this was really cool. Yeah. Yeah, I have it uh, behind me over here. So if any of you guys are on the video call with me, you're going to see the Made This Way banner over there. Uh, what's kind of cool about us being an emerging franchise system is that all of us together are building traditions, right? From scratch together. And yeah. this is one of the first traditions we have, which is the made this banner and cataloging with those pins, the milestone journey to hit your own freedom. And yeah. all of you guys walked away with a banner. A lot of you walked away with pins. And as you continue to grow and evolve, you're going to have these pins for yourself. So I think it's just really cool starting traditions with our, yeah. our little community here. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think one of the things too, and we, we presented a lot too, Neil, you did a great job of recapping the story of made this and, and the future and where you think it's going, you know, as a former franchisee myself, I always valued transparency from the franchisor, especially when it came to where my fees go. So we were able to actually put that up, share it with the franchisees, uh, the marketing package, the tech fee. Um, I know that the numbers are a little small guys, but the, the amount of money that you save by being a part of a system like this, the things that are going on in the background that help drive leads, that drive business, that drive growth, uh, it's it's phenomenal. Um, you know, the the monthly total for the marketing package alone would typically be thirty five hundred, and it's less than a, um, it's just over a grand for franchisees monthly. Yeah, saving twenty four hundred dollars um, a month. It's, it's uh, just for that. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Um, 
and we, we announced a lot of other new initiatives coming. And so we've got a couple we'll actually share now and some we'll tease out as they develop further along. Yeah, we gave the full spiel and made this live. I know some of you couldn't intend, so we'll kind of tease this out over time, but super exciting stuff coming up to help the franchisees and you guys grow way, way faster. First one is uh, we signed up for something called Sagan Passport, which is kind of a community and platform to find remote team members. That's one big thing we kept hearing from franchises is, hey, I want to hire someone. I'm not really sure where I could do that. So Sagan Passport normally costs actually $1,000 per month. Uh, for you guys, free. The franchisor is covering this entirely for you. Once you log in and you can just message Jenny to actually get the login for it, you're going to be able to see a talent that you could access. And from there, you could grab anyone you want to to actually hire them completely free in terms of the recruitment cost, which is huge. These are all pre-vetted people. The yep. interviews are in there. Uh, the amount they are, they want, the rates are in there. Everything's super transparent for you. You don't have to figure this out at all. You get access to this immediately. We've actually got a Notion page for it too, guys. We've got a video on it. We've got all the login information. You can go out there and find it in the ops manual. If you have issues, just ping me. I'm happy to help you out. Yep. And along with that, one thing, let, let's say you hire a remote team member. You find something like, all right, this person's awesome. Now, all of you have been through Mavis University when you started. What if we had made this junior college? And maybe we'll call it something else eventually, but made this junior college where you hire a remote team member, you could put them through a system to get them trained where they're going to learn all the software systems you use to learn the sales script. They'll learn everything before they even start working with you. How sick would that be? Yeah. It's That's cool. what we're working on right now. Yep. So this is coming up, putting a lot of effort and time into this. Uh, and we'll talk about a little bit more about the first iteration of it. Uh, but this is coming up for you guys too, just to make this the ultimate cheat code. Yep, that's a big deal, man. Um, one of the other things when we talk about takeaways from the conference, one mm -hmm. of them on our end was, let's put together a marketing calendar. Let's let you guys know what we're working on. Because everybody's on go high level and that we do all the back end funnel organizing and um, tech details on it, thanks to Horacio and his team, we're also initiating some new email marketing campaigns and we're spelling out what's to come so you guys know. In fact, I think just now um, Horacio sent out what the Father's Day email message and offer is going to be. So that's yep. something franchisees don't even have to touch it. We're organizing it. We're sending it out on your behalf, managing it for you. Yep. And a lot more to come with revamping the whole email marketing program, which we're working on. But the first iteration is just trying to be as transparent as you can with what's coming up. A lot of these, by the way, we use best practices, which you can learn, but you don't have to learn because we've already implemented for you for the copy of the email address, how often they're going to get sent. Everything like that's already baked into your CRM for you. So that's done. Yep. All right. Let's talk about Z's in the community. Guys, this is a thread that I think we'll continue to see. Um, and just like it's fun to brag and kind of highlight folks that are putting themselves out there that are getting traction. Yep. Um, look at this. Like this isn't even local. This is a Southern Living, right? That's a known publication. We've got. Uh, Brian from Salt Lake City was highlighted in the article. They worked really closely with Thumbtack, who's actually hooked them up with a couple of articles. This is just the recent one. Then we've got Akila here on the right. She's in McKinney, Texas. Akila is out doing chamber events. This is her introducing herself. I'm sure she'll love that we've shared this. Um, she is out networking and working with real estate agents and um, actually working with, with Stephen on our end from the marketing side of things, she's created her own meetup for Airbnb owners. And she's launching that actually this weekend as the first meeting. Yeah. And Epic. yeah, it's very cool. And then we've got the Durham guys. So um, these guys were thinking outside the box. How do we introduce ourselves? How do we put, you know, kind of our story, put a face to the business locally? And so they went out and put together this little video. It's like 45 seconds. They're going to send it out. The Airbnb owners introducing made this Durham in their community, introducing themselves, telling their story and pitching why Airbnb owners should reach out to them for their cleaning needs. It's really cool. Yep. Yeah. And I think we're going to have more franchisees uh, follow this model and build something similar. Yeah, definitely. Ooh. Sales training. So you guys remember I just talked about made this junior college. We're going to go about the first one of this, which is next week on Wednesday. If you guys have remote team members, and you want them to learn a little bit more about sales tactics, I'm going to open, host an open Zoom call. Anyone could join and just go through a lot of mock calls, sales tactics, secret tactics on how to co close convert better. Yep. It'll get recorded, so don't even worry about it. But you could send your remote team member to this training completely free, obviously. And I'm going to actually host it and educate a lot of people on it. On top of that, the same day for you guys exclusively, the franchisees, 
we're going to have a hot seat for sales calls for the roundtable for this month. What that means is if you have any questions on, hey, why do you think this Airbnb sales call didn't convert? Do you mind if we do a mock call? Love Can it. you tell me how to do an outbound call? We're going to review all of those scripts. We're going to practice it together. We can review any type of sales issue you're running into right now um, together on the call. So that's going to be something else that happens next Wednesday as well. I love it. That's fantastic. Um, guys, as always, this is you know our effort at communicating what we're doing in the system. We've got more things that Neil announced at Made This Live that we'll be teasing out over the next couple of coming months as they get further developed. But um, the door's always open. We want to hear how we can be better. That's the whole point of Kaizen. So uh, I think we'll always end these calls with that message, with that request. Thanks, guys. I'm going to catch you next month on the Kaizen call. Take care, fam.